Have you ever been out riding having that great pace thinking to yourself, man, if they just let me race in MotoGP, I'd be in first place right now. And then this happens to you. What? Here are four easy ways to corner faster. Number one. Stop braking so hard. One of the first things riders learn when they start going faster is that they should be braking a lot later in the corners. Because that's how the pros do it, right? What a lot of intermediate riders end up doing when they try to brake later is that they also end up braking way too hard before the corner. So basically, they just move the brake point further and further into the corner, thinking that this should obviously be faster. For some corners where you want to have a lot of corner speed, it is actually better to brake a little bit earlier than the absolute latest braking point possible, and then just be a little bit looser on the brakes and then carry them further into the corner. So being really light on the brakes works really well for long sweepers and any type of corner combination where you're just trying to carry as much corner speed as possible. And your goal here is to not brake too hard into the corner because you're just losing all of that corner speed that you want to be carrying inside of the corner. Number two, braking equals bike wants to turn, throttle equals bike wants to turn, neutral and the bike is going to be really upset with you. When you're braking on your bike, what you're essentially doing is shifting the load forward, which makes the rear wheel really light. What this does practically is that the bike essentially wants to take a much tighter turn than if you're not on the brakes. When you release the brakes inside of the corner and start rolling on the throttle, the bike is very initially going to want to turn more into the corner. This is because the bike should be oversteering if you've set it up properly. Once you realize this and you learn how to use it, you're probably going to alter your line in the corners. What I mean is you're probably going to take a slightly wider line in corners because you know you can tighten it up with the throttle when you go out from the corner. Number three, short shifting into corners. Now this is a really simple but very effective tip. So what I mean by this is, if you're shifting down three times for a corner, just shift down twice for that corner instead. What this practically is going to do is that you're going to get less engine brake on the rear, which means you're probably going to carry a little bit more corner speed mid-corner. This is also going to help you in being much earlier and harder on the throttle on the exit of the corner, simply because you're much lower down in the rev range. Number four, stop moving around so much. One of the big things intermediate riders focus on is to perfect their body position. They work so hard on their body position that they forget about everything else. When you're going into and through a corner, there's a lot of things that you need to do. And body position is one of the things that you're doing. Practically, try this out. Don't move your lower body into the corner. Then just push your upper body into the corner. Remember to subscribe to my channel there is always something new to learn. It's gotta be against the lottery.